July 26, 2024, a day that will be etched in stone forever. For on this day, all eyes, billions to be exact, were on metal for the first time in a while. Together, we will watch this monumental event, explain how it happened, and unpack what this means both for the band and for heavy music to in, in general moving forward. All of this and more on this episode of Graphic Model. Hey rockers, I'm Veer Von Wright and you're watching Graphic Metal, where metal is celebrated with design in mind. Congrats to Gojira for winning the Olympic gold medal and representing all of heavy music with pride and bringing it back to the mainstream pop culture. Today sure was a monumental day, but before we show the full performance, give you the band's history and unpack what this means moving forward, let's rewind a bit because, well, I told you this would happen. September 29th, 2005. I remember I was in my car headed to work. Popped in a disc. It was a brand new album. That album was... From Mars to Cyrus, the third by an obscure, unknown, relatively new band coming via France named Godzilla. Scratch that. For legal purposes, they had to change their name and they went with the next closest. In Japanese, Gojira represents like a gorilla the size of a whale. After listening to that album, I made a bold statement to anyone who would listen. Gojira would become the new face of metal. Ah, but let's continue forward. On April 22nd, 2016, I doubled down. And I not only believe that they would become the world's biggest metal band, but I also believed that they would bring back metal into the mainstream of pop culture. A few months later, those statements didn't look all that bad. After all, Magmum, their sixth album, was released and did quite well. In fact, it reached gold in France. <laughs> Foreshadowing a bit? Eh. Just in case if you haven't picked this up by now, yes, France is their home country. But selling out only, you know, gold in one country, and yes, whereas their seventh Fortitude album was upon release, it, it debuted at, you know, second or third in the charts with a few countries. By no means were they doing anything for shattering. They were, however, still doing something damn impressive. In fact, almost downright impossible. You see, Metacritic score, for those who are familiar, it's like an aggregator. It's like kind of like the universal uh, aggregator score system, right? 80 and above is unbelievable. You pull that off once, and that in itself is a feat to do. But in Gojira's case, they've managed to do this now five times in a row. You see, five albums since from... Mars to Cyrus. All of them have average an 80 or above Metacritic score. It's unbelievable. It's unheard of. Ridiculous, right? This is reason number five as to why I believe that they have reached this level, you know, the Godzilla of metal and were picked to represent both their country and all of having extreme music, you know, for the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. Because you have to understand, like, on the surface, it doesn't seem like they're doing much. However, 
that stock, that value system behind the scenes, underneath the layer, right? Kind of like the iceberg factor, right? They were growing in that department across many people, like important people, so to speak, that put on and make these kind of decisions, these big decisions, right? These kind of big decisions are made with these kind of stats in mind. So this had been brewing for some time. And then suddenly, today, July 26th, boom. Here they are for the whole world to see. We couldn't have really picked a better band to represent extreme metal. As for the band themselves, they formed back in 1996 via Lans, France. They consist of brothers Joe Duplantier on vocals, rhythm, guitar, Mario Duplantier on drums, Christian Andrew on lead guitars, and John Michael Labide on bass. No surprise that their secret weapon is the chemistry between the brothers. We've seen this in the past when the, there's a brother combination or a sister combination, especially the deadly punch and the rhythm between the guitars and drums. It is a powerful foundation that a band can really use to their advantage to ground themselves, anchor, and which allows them to be able to be more creative because there's always that chemistry, that connection that's undeniable. Which leads to number four reason to why I think this happened. The ability to, just like in films, right? Actually, just coming out, I just watched uh, Wolverine and Deadpool, right? We all want an R-rated film. We all want extreme metal. The reality is, is that in order to reach that kind of level, you need to get that PG-13 rating. Or in this case, you need to be right at that cusp where it's accessible enough to reach, you know, people who are interested in, in rock music and alternative and, you know, all of these other different, you know, and also people that don't even listen to, to, to metal. But at the same time, be loved and cherished still by the extremists of hardcore metal. They picked up directly where Pantera left off, right? This is absolutely critical and a huge part that represents Gojira and their success up to this point. Another reason, number three, is the fact that, well, we talk about this on the channel all the time, right? What is graphic metal, right? It's the, it's the merging, it's the fusion of design with metal right or music right so this is critical and actually the real reason why i even came across gojira way back in the day i came across them actually through their art they are well known for their attention to detail from an artistic standpoint they regularly worked with you know french artists but most importantly is the music videos right similar to like tool right tool became the legendary band that they are because in the same way where they put a lot of emphasis on their videos. I remember it was always, and to this day, it's always been uh, exciting to get uh, when, it, when a new uh, music video of theirs drops, and quite frankly, anything that they do, because it's always going to bring a level of artistic design and creativity to it that is unmatched. Reason number two as to how this all happened. Well, we actually just talked about it 
on our most recent episode, uh, which we unpack uh, album covers, right? It's, uh, uh, album covers go to hell, right? So we gave a, a guide, a design guide as to how, what it takes to become uh, an iconic album cover. And so it's basically like, like a design, uh, you know, checklist, so to speak, right? Um, check it out if you haven't watched it yet. But basically, in the same way, once it reaches to a certain point, there is something that's not in your control, and that is timing. We hear this all the time in everything. Timing, context, right, plays a huge role. In this case, this is a, a key factor because we already talked about it. not only are they like literally the one and only true success story band from, a, from an extreme metal standpoint uh, from, from France, right? that are the country that is hosting this uh, Olympic Games. You see, it makes sense. Uh, the when the decision was uh, to make a portion of the festivities ceremony in dedication to Les Miserables, it makes sense to bring the intense energy of the likes of a performance from a, a metal band. Uh, it was in collaboration with singer Marina Vietti and with the art direction of uh, our Thomas Jolie. It was the Liberté uh, portion of the festivities. And it uh, showcases, you know, the facade of, of the castle where, uh, where a beheaded Maria uh, Antoinette uh, is initially singing to, you know, to the crowd. And then it shifts to uh, the band uh, performing in the different windows of the castle. And in classic fashion of metal, you have, you know, the fire flames going off and uh, the red streamers at the, at the end. And, and also the, the boat, which carries the, the opera singer um, during, during, during uh, the, the segment. Uh, in case if you were wondering, you know, I think that Gojira does represents metal with pride. I think they do a fantastic job being true to who they are, right? They didn't hold back. They brought the intensity and the electricity that they're known for. They even, they brought the double kick, you know, from, you know, the brother, uh, Mario, and uh, just, uh, they even had a breakdown, uh, which is, I mean, that was, I think, the biggest surprise was just that, you know, to bring that, you know, that energy that even, you know, do the classic breakdown was just, uh, it was a beautiful, amazing thing to, to be had. I, I, I genuinely think, like, not even, you know, moving as a metal fan aside and, and a Gojira fan um, aside, it's just, I think it was well, well, well conceived and, and, and well um, brought to life. I thought it was very well done. And I think that the reception seems to be early responses is that people seem to really be genuinely liking it, which is, which is amazing. Um, and that leads to uh, the number one reason why uh, they, they ultimately got picked is because they're from France, right? But here's the thing. I'm going to look at this in a different way. Whereas this is true, but think of the work, the hard work that they put in to get this far. I kind of was alluding to it in the beginning. It's like, I remember uh, way back first getting introduced by them. I remember being like, from France? They even have metal? That even exists? Uh, no one had ever heard of metal coming from France. This was not something that uh, was was known to, to exist, right? Uh, so, we all know it's right becoming increasingly difficult to stand out from the car from the from right. the palette right for the them to have been able to get through all of those obstacles right is utterly impressive and they uh they earned it i guess is what i'm saying uh, right. but in it general is. yes metallica you can be heard pantera can be heard any death metal band can be heard uh and so forth but Generally speaking, actually, Meshuga too, that's another one, right? Uh, and Tool, right? <laughs> keep, we can keep going, right? The point is, is, is that, yes, they take the inspiration, right? But they found a uniqueness, right? Uh, a, a little gap in between all these different circles and found them, themselves, Gojira, their brand, their representation into the world. They, they brought something new to the table. 
one of the things that I've always loved uh, about them is, is that they are easily recognizable. I don't, it doesn't even seem to matter what level of, of fandom you are towards them. You listen to any of their songs and you can instantly recognize them 100%. They're just a very recognizable band. And that is a combination of their, their, um, their singularity, right? As far as their voice, their brand, but then also their ability to uh, be just hard working and loyal to, to, uh, to the journey, right? Success is paved through, through hard work, right? And they put in the hard work. So congrats again to, Go, to Go, Gojira for getting the gold medal, uh, you know, the Olympic gold medal, right? Uh, which is just unbelievable. I'm not even sure if I brought this up yet at this point, but they are the first metal band ever to perform uh, during uh, an Olympic ceremony. And one of the, the most, uh, um, you know, uh, most attention, right, grabbing moments in, in all of, of metal history, quite frankly. It's a, this is a really big deal, which leads to, yeah, what does this mean for both the band and to extreme music? Well, obviously for the band, their stock just went skyrocketing, right? There's a reason why I stopped everything that I was doing and just decided to quickly focus on this specific episode. They were which, already uh, headlining uh, music festivals and their own tours. So they're, they're just going to keep going up. And I wouldn't be surprised that, uh, you know, their next album... I wouldn't be surprised if it at least at bare minimum sell, it goes gold. I think it. I think it will go gold, and I would say in three at least three countries. I'll I'll, I'll go on record in, in, in saying that. I don't know about platinum. Platinum is very 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 difficult to do in the world of metal. But hey, I mean it, they could they could because this is a, a huge uptick. Right, and if they're if they if they are smart with the timing and they get to releasing new music very quickly, they can leave. You know, they can carry on from this this uh, this carryover, this flow, and that could be a huge momentum boost. And they might be able that to would be unbelievable, right? Which leads into then what this means for extreme music, because again, just like with Pantera, right? Make no mistake about it. This isn't just a metal band. Gojira is. They're an extreme metal band. There's no denying it. This is the, the second most significant moment since since this guy, right? That's that's pretty much it. You know, you got you got Venom, you got uh, Death, right? And their albums, and then you have. This one, and then now Gojira, right? Uh, that that those are these are the most uh, uh, impactful moments. So I think that there's going to be an uplift then for uh, extreme metal too. I think that more people will. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, like black metal and um, doom and gothic and um, uh, some of the other death metal, obviously as well. Like I think I think that they're going to have an uptick. I 100 percent guarantee you will. that there is a lot of exciting times for um for for rock and metal so with that said uh this has already been now a lot longer episode than i was expecting so i appreciate if you have actually survived all the way through this again i'm veer von wright you've been watching graphic metal please support this channel as best as you can uh and again we got a lot of exciting things coming very very soon in the meantime, though, check out some of our other videos. Until the next time, cheers and keep on rocking.